the sighting tutorial today we are going to look at some things that we are going to create we are actually going to see how we can make this bulb um, shine a light among other bulb so let's quickly do this and let's come over to polygon and insert polygon plane and uh, click on it use your scale tool to scale it weight very large okay I think this is okay for now then um okay this is looking good the next thing to do is to um select this let's apply some basic texture to it can go with let's go with bling uh, i'm gonna increase the specular color reduce the reflectivity um, activate refraction make this color dark or white kind of can still trick the settings later on then I want to select the inner the ultra and the wire and apply the same blink to it sign a system material plane okay so by the time we render this now you can see what we have not bad so let's use our mental ray to render it all right so let's uh, move on to let's apply a normal lambert to this make it stack a little bit Okay, so we select this other one. I want to come over to my rendering editor hypershade. Then I'm going to apply a mental ray material to it. MIA X. So I'll just throw that middle mouse, drag it on top of this place that will apply that material. I want to choose a preset of copper to replace it. So we have copper. Then let's render this and see now. all right it's beginning to look more like what we want so let's um select this and tweak the this a little bit make it dark and we increase the eccentricity increase the opacity okay so the refraction the surface thickness we can make it one okay let's render it and see okay not bad but the highlight is too much uh, let's reduce the specular highlight okay let's render it now good more like it so so above that has no light so let's um move on to the next thing um, i'm gonna duplicate this bulb by pressing ctrl d oops and uh, move it space it out press another ctrl d space it out and i'll select the three bulbs press ctrl d sorry So click on this, hold down your control key, select the three. You can just move this aside like this. Space this out like this. Okay, this is good. So we can render it here and see. So we just have a group of bulb that is having no light so we are going to apply light to the center one so this is going to be the unique one among them because it's going to have light i want to use the surface shader and on the surface shader i want to click on this checkerboard where i can add 
an external node and I want to add a texture my favorite MIL light surface then I want to choose um, a very nice yellow and something that is a little bit like that then um, by the time I render this you can see we are beginning to have some kind of light going on here but the reason why I apply this light surface is because I can increase the intensity of the light and also increase the final gather attribute so by the time I go over to my um, render settings and enable final gather global illumination and final gather and render it again you can see I'm having more of a, a better result now All right, good. So I'm beginning to have some final gather. I want to turn off the the under the common tab render option. I want to disable the default lights and uh, also I want to reduce this intensity. Okay, let's leave it for now. Then on the surface shader, I want to add a little bit of glow to it outer glow I can choose an outer glow of this and I reduce it all right re let's render this again uh, you can see that um, but we can't see other bulbs so what we can do is to throw in a little bit of um, let's add um, a spotlight then we with the spotlight selected we can go to our panel look through selected and let's just allow this spotlight by the way we are going to use our light here okay so let's position the spotlight we can come over to the spotlight and increase the cone angle and just to cover the entire thing okay just position it and uh, we want a drop off on the light okay good then um, we might want to increase the intensity but let's use linear so that we can bump up the intensity up to like 30 or probably 50 so global illumination is on so it's going to interact with the other light I want to enable my default light so that I will see what is going on here then I want to change the position of this and render it all right let's render this again okay you can see the results we have the glow is a little bit too much although it's not bad let's keep this image for comparison sake uh, one other thing i want to do is to come over to this place under the indirect lighting i want to increase the point of interpolation from 10 to 100 then um, i want to reduce the glow a little bit so i'll just come over to my to my surface just click on it we die down the glow a little bit Okay, let's render it again and see okay this is the render this is the render it took um, about 4 minutes 21 seconds to render this um, this is coming out very nice uh, one other thing I want to do is to add a little bit of light in the scene uh, in order to display this other bulb a little bit so uh, you can keep this image um, I believe some of you also like this result the way it is but let's go ahead and add one more light in the scene I want to use 
all light and this time around I want to add a point light so I'm going to raise the point light up so I also look through the selected then I want to change the decay rate to linear and increase the intensity to 30 I don't want it to cast shadow so I'm going to come over to my shadow tab and turn off use ray trace shadows so let's go back to our perspective view this might actually take um, more time but let's reduce the intensity let's use 10 so let's render okay this took um, 4 minutes 13 seconds to render but the result is better um, you can do other things on your own I'm gonna stop here for today guys thank you for watching I believe I'm gonna see you next time very soon don't forget to subscribe to this channel leave a comment down the description box below i will surely get back to you if you like this video tutorial give us thumbs up and don't forget to share to your friends and related minds thank you for watching see you next time